What's next? How about we design something ourselves in a male-dominated space? So cool to hear about girls rocking in robotics. And we're about to meet some amazing youngsters doing amazing things. At Redford House, Blue Hills College, these girls are going to blow your mind. Welcome back. We are coming to you live from Redford House, Blue Hills this morning out here in Johannesburg. I'm about to, about to meet rather a very special group of young ladies alongside their coach. I'm talking about the robotics team. They walked away with the first prize, right? Yes. In Milan, Italy. Yes. Sir. In a robotics competition. That is impressive, and we're about to find out more about that. We are joined by Re Re Redford's robotics teacher, David van Leeuwen, Leeuwen, as well as the robotics prize winners, the young ladies over here, Bordlen Washeng, Alicia Naidu, and Shalom Halata, and they're about to tell us more about their experience in the robotics team. Good morning. Morning. This is really mm -hmm. exciting. I cannot wait to see what you guys have worked up here. But please tell us more about the competition that you won and what it aims to do. Oh, so the, the competition was, it was called the Inspired Build Competition. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a worldwide competition spanning over 22 countries. Wow. Um, and yeah, Milan was the host school. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a competition where it involves and invites all the inspired schools across the world. Um, it's just to showcase, showcase the kids' talents and abilities um, in terms of coding. Um, and I think it's amazing, uh, it's an amazing competition and how it's growing and evolving every year. And I mean, for the girls to have put up a winning bot um, worldwide is absolutely amazing. And uh, the competition was uh, um, evolved around uh, movement and mm -hmm. designing a robot that mimics the movement of an animal. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the whole idea and the criteria and they did an amazing job. And what's special about it is that you've got an all girls team here that achieved this in this huge thing internationally. Tell us more about what that means for the school and also just for them in general? Oh, I think it's absolutely fantastic that a girls team won. Um, mm. I mean, I think the, the tech space is sort of known as a man's world, you know? Yes. And I think that's, that's changing. Um, and what the girls have done is absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, you, you see today there are more uh, girls that game, uh, that get into web designing. Mm. And it's so fantastic to see a girls team actually win this. And for the, for the younger girls um, at school to see this and to look up to them and see, you know, and see what is possible in terms of coding and technology. And mm. um, I think it just bodes well for the future in in terms of uh, girls in, in the tech space. One thing I will say is, when I grow up, I want to be exactly like them. Bontle, please tell us about your experience in Milan. What stood out for you when it comes to the design of this machine? Uh, what stood out for us was the fact that we did have to meet all four criteria. Mm -hmm. And I think what made our bot unique was the fact that it was the first um, chicken ever entered into this competition. <laughs> And um, it was the like most creative out of all our other ideas because we did plan on building a butterfly mm -hmm. and a dragon, but at the end of the day, we decided that the chicken would be the most creative. Amazing, Alicia. Please tell us more about the criteria that you guys had to meet in the competition. So for this competition, we had to build a robot that mimicked the movement of an animal. We mm -hmm. had to be very creative with our idea as there were a lot of entries and they were more basic things, not like Charlie, mm -hmm. and we had to find a way to make him work with the code and make it simple for the code. Amazing. Shalom. Is there anything happening exciting when it comes to the robotics team for the remainder of the year? Sadly, we do not have any further competitions for the year, oh. but as technology is evolving, it is getting harder and harder for students to complete their day-to-day -day work. So we feel as if we, feel as if we are trying to we are trying to cooperate technology into a student's day-to-day -day life to help them for their future careers and to cope with school. And it's absolutely important. Technology is forever changing and evolving and adapting. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. But before we leave, we have to see what you guys did here with this little chicken. Okay, can you please demonstrate to us how it works? Did you guys name the chicken, by the way? Yes. What's the chicken's name? Charlie. Charlie the chicken, everybody. Who will be demonstrating it for us? Um, I will be demonstrating. All right, cool. Boyle is about to demonstrate how the chicken works and show us how they've won number one spot in Italy. That's Woo! So David, it was about
about movement, mobility, yes, yeah. and design. No, 100%. So about movement, designing the chicken, and mm. the way the girls incorporated the code, um, you know, for the chicken. So the chicken pecks the food. Um, they added a color sensor. Wow. So when they show the chicken the color yellow, mm. then the color sensor reacts and it'll move forward and it'll pick the little, mm. you know, the little um, food for, for Charlie the chicken. Um, uh, so yeah, and they made it look like a chicken, which is awesome. I think that um, they played well as well. So no, they did an amazing job. Very exciting. Absolutely amazing, Alicia Bontle and Shalom. Thank you so, so much for joining us this morning. And Charlie the Chicken, we are still coming to you live from Redford House Blue Hills this morning. It's spring day, and this is exactly how we are kicking off this season. Do not go anywhere, because we've got one more surprise for you guys.